Hi, Faithful Caregiver. Have you ever noticed that your dementia loved one is taking their glasses off and on? First, I'll share some ways that we can tell that they are having eyesight problems. Secondly, I'm going to be sharing a personal story about something that can happen with your dementia loved one's eyesight. The third thing is I'll be sharing with you two rustic tools that I came up with in order that you could yourself kind of see what your dementia loved one is seeing through their eyes. And then the fourth thing is I want to end this video on an upbeat note. So I'm going to be sharing a tip that a fellow caregiver gave in order to help your dementia loved one focus better on television if they've been having a difficult time doing that. Okay, so the first thing is this. My mom started taking her glasses off and on, off and on, and looking at them one day. So I took them thinking they were just dirty. I cleaned and washed them, gave them back to mom, and she continued to take her glasses off and on, off and on, and just look at them like, what is wrong with you? So it hit me like a lightning bolt. My mom's eyesight had changed. So I took her glasses away from her, and I hid them, and mom never even asked for those glasses. And she never even acted like it bothered her not to have glasses anymore. I personally think she was probably relieved that whatever it was that had been on her face was gone because all it did was irritate her. And now here are some more ways that you can kind of guess at what's going on with your dementia loved one's eyesight. They might have difficulty eating. And we've kind of talked about this in another video I did on red plates. But if they're looking down at their food and they're kind of shoving it away or they're just messing in it and it's like they just can't get into eating, it could be as simple as they cannot see their food. And that's why it's really important to put whatever color their food is on a plate that is like contrasting to it because that helps them visually be able to eat better. Something else you might notice is they start getting clumsy or they fall more than is normal. That could be a real eyesight issue going on. Or they startle easily. Like if you come up beside of them, all of a sudden they just startle. That could be an indication of eyesight issues. Then they also might become sensitive to light or they have depth perception issues. They just can't tell and gauge where things are. Like when they're going down steps, you have to be really careful with them because they just can't tell the depth of the step to where they're going. And that's one reason that they might be falling downstairs and tripping over things is they just really cannot even tell distance very well because of eyesight issues. And the second thing is this, with their parietal and temporal lobes, when the disease starts to kill that part of the brain, they can have a really scary occurrence that happens with them. And the reason I know how frightening it can be is I'm going to share with you a personal story that happened to my youngest grandson who is battling stage four cancer. And I'm going to tell you the scenario that the doctors told my son, and this is how he explained it to me. And it's because it involved these two lobes in the brain. That is this, that it can cause them to actually not recognize your face, not as in not remembering who you are, but they can see an object, but they don't know what that object is. That meant that he could have looked at his mom and dad or siblings or anyone, but because of what this particularly harsh treatment was going to do to him, it could possibly cause him to go blind or it could cause him to not even recognize that what he was looking at was a face. And then, of course, he would not even recognize that it was his mom or his dad. And I will tell you, that was horrifying to think that somebody be, could be looking at an object and not know what that object was and not be able to, their brain could not process what it was or who it was. So I want you to be aware of that. It does not happen with all the dementia loved ones, and it's probably rare that that completely happens like that. But I only understand it that well because when I was going through some research on eyesight, when I saw this and read this and studied it, I was like, oh my word, that's exactly what the possibility was with my grandson. And 
praise the Lord, it did not happen with him, but it is a possibility with those particular loads. Okay, so here are the two rustic tools that I came up with that might help you understand what your dementia loved one is going through as far as eyesight. Because when their eyesight starts to go, at first it, it's this. It's the peripheral vision over here that they starts to come in on them. And their eyesight just starts diminishing and it's coming in on them where they're not seeing out here like we see all of this space. But it starts to come in on them like this, like peripheral vision does when it gets diminished. Then what happens is they can go into even tunnel vision. So what I did was I took a paper towel roll and I just cut two pieces off of it. Then I took saran wrap and I doubled it in half and I just taped it around it like this. And if you will take these and you will put them up to your eyes, of course I have glasses on, but put them up to your eyes, that's going to give you an idea of the depth of field that they can see. And Tipa Snow says it can get down to like a 12 inch radius of field of vision that they can see because it gets so bad. And that would be kind of like this. And here's one other, and I will tell you this too before I go on to the next thing is this is all crinkly and their vision is going to get like that in some cases. Remember, we're all individual, so every case is going to progress differently. But this, I think, will give you a lot of empathy for your dementia loved one when you realize that they cannot see but maybe 12 inches when we see all of this. So doing this will make you understand that a little bit better. And then I even found these, y'all. And these are just like little kids things. But when I put them on and I measured and I put these up like this, it really did give me like a 10 inch or a 12 inch depth field of where I could see. And I challenge you to put something like this on and you walk around and try and do what you need to do. Like I could right here, I would not even be able to see a plate. If there was a plate of food right here, I could not see this plate of food. I would have to look all the way down like this in order to see food right here. So if I've got tunnel vision as a dementia loved one, I have to look this far down in order to see my plate of food. Y'all, that is sad. I will tell you, when I put those on, those right there, and it hit me how little they were seen. Plus, if you want it to even take and put a little piece of the crinkly um, saran wrap over that little hole that so that that is covered too, it is very sobering what your dementia loved one might be going through. It did a really good job on me as far as understanding what they are going through. I saw one video, I can't find it, and if I do, I'll put it up sometime, of someone that used the glasses, the real glasses, like their two or $300 glasses, and when they got through using those and walking around, they had them on for 15 minutes. They had people telling them what to do during that 15 minutes, and they were in tears when that 15 minutes was over because everything became so confused when people were talking to them and they're trying to do instructions and they could not do it. So it's a very um, mind-opening exercise to do something like this to give us more love and more compassion for our dementia loved ones. So the fourth thing is this, it's a tip that a fellow caregiver gave when their dementia loved one was not focusing on television like they used to do. And she said she was in a separate room from her loved one and then all of a sudden she heard her start talking as if she was watching television and repeating what was on the television. So she went in there and she said, I don't know how it happened, but the closed caption was on and mom was actually reading the words and that got her mom back into being able to watch a television show because the closed caption was on there. So if your dementia loved one is having a hard time focusing on the television, it might not just be that they're having visual problems. It could be that the hearing is giving them a little bit of an issue. So put the closed caption up there on the television for them and that really might benefit them. Okay, I hope that this video helps you as far as care for your dementia loved one and their eyesight. Thank you as always for taking care of your dementia loved one. God bless you and stay true.